All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dive into Real Estate Investing for Newbies podcast. I have a very special guest today. Her name is Heather Gotro, and she's with Cornell Financial. And the reason why I want to bring Heather on the show is because um, I know I talk a lot about wholesaling real estate, but I also have a lot of clients. I don't know if y'all if everyone knows, I am a real estate agent, but I have a lot of clients who have wholesale uh, or students that have wholesale homes, but they have never brought a home for themselves. So people have questions about their credit score, uh, what they need to do and what type of loans are out there. And Heather um, has been doing uh, the mortgage financial part for a long time. And that's why I wanted to get her on the podcast just to go over some basic things that you should know before buying a house. So welcome to the podcast, Heather. I appreciate you taking your time out to be on today. Hi, Cecil. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you having me on here today. Yeah. So Heather, tell, tell us, a, you know, like how you started in the, the mortgage industry and, um, you know, where are you? Tell us about Cornell Financial and, you know, uh, the products and how are you helping people today? Um, so I got into the industry. Um, my coworker and I went to high school together. So um, I was working at a CPA firm and doing uh, marketing and event planning for nonprofit associations, uh, which was a division of the CPA firm. And uh, one day I just, I, I talked to my coworker and I said, you, your job just looks like you enjoy it so much, you know, and I, I'm a numbers person and I love sales. So it was, it was a good fit for me. So that was six years ago, never looked back and, you know, really enjoy helping people. Um, first time home buyers or, it, you know, seasoned home buyers, either way, it's a very rewarding career. So I, I like it very much. Wow. So the market, mm -hmm. is, the market is like hot right now. Are you mm -hmm. doing more? refinancing or first-time home buyers right now or both? It's a good mixture of both. Um, you know, a lot of people are refinancing and, you know, so I would say probably 50-50 right now. Um, a lot of people are, are buying homes too because rates are so low. So it's, you know, it's a good mix of both and it, it's a great time to buy or refinance just because of the, you know, with rates and, um, you know, hopefully they stay low for a while because they are at all time lows right now. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. so Heather, I have a lot of, um, like I said, I am a real estate agent and I come across a lot of investors uh, that's just getting into real estate um, that they never really purchased a home before. And um, even people that are not investors, but one of the things I've, I've learned just being a real estate agent, what has been about 12 years now is uh, people start pretty much at the end before they start from the beginning. Like mm -hmm. what, what are some things that you tell most clients who are first time home buyers? Like um, some people don't know what, how to get a credit score check. Uh, what are some resources that you can kind of help a, a person or what would you like, if I was brand new, and I call you and say, Heather, what do I need to do? I want to buy this home. Um, my years on the job, I don't know. Um, my credit score, I don't know what I need to have. And mm -hmm. what income? Can you kind of just walk us through that uh, and tell us how would you pretty much advise me on that? Sure. Um, so a lot of first time home buyers, um, they are scared to pull their credit. They think it's going to hurt, you know, the inquiry is going to hurt, you know, so I always explain, you know, let's, let's look at your credit. Um, I have a credit analyzer that I can put their credit through and tell them things to do that could immediately um, increase their score. It could take a couple of months. It just depends on the unique situation. Um, and so I will tell them exactly, you know, instead of just throwing money at debt, you know, not knowing what it's going to do, I can say, pay this card down to this exact amount, pay this card down to this exact amount. And, you know, we can get, I mean, we can get scores up 50, 60 points in a month. Um, and while we're not credit repair, we're still able to do that, you know, to an extent and help them get their scores up. And then, you know, we, after getting an application from them, um, you know, and getting those scores up, we can rescore 
you know, after they do everything that we talked about, we can rescore their credit. And at that point they qualify. So it's, you know, sometimes it happens so quick that they're like, whoa, you know, I, I just a month ago it was 60 points lower. So it's, you know, it's definitely a, a really cool tool that we have that, that we can use. 